Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today, Svetlana and I are working on our amazing sweater. We have the side seams ready and we've finished the hem. We're really happy you supported us and left your comments. Thanks to everyone for your support. Svilana needs that support. It's not easy being filmed. It's harder than many people think it is. So please continue supporting us and leaving comments. What's the goal for today? What do we have left? We need to do the hem on the sleeve, the shoulder seam, and the neckline. What will we start with? Let's start by sewing net to the neck. So the neck will have the net on it too. I've already forgotten about it. I wondered what would be there. Well, we're finished with one part and we'll get the second one done. The nuance here is that we used a single thread machine here and it was stretchable enough. But the same stretch is not enough for the neck so we'll use a narrow zigzag there. Listen carefully. Every master has their own method. That's why we don't say anything here. We're just there. So making this sweater, we follow the rule of one famous brand. I like that rule very much. It says, there's no rules. We do it however we want. You too can do it however you want. But watch our video first. We set the machine to have the stitch to be three in width and six in length. What kind of zigzag is it? The usual, not the stretch one. So narrow, it'll look like a straight stitch. Now Svita will try it on a piece of fabric and we'll take a close look on it. Right now, we'll stitch the net to the neck only. We don't do anything to the shoulder seam and the sleeve. There, we were pulling the net, but here, we don't do that. It's the other way around. We need the edge of the neck to be very stretchable. At the bottom, we pulled it. Here, we don't pull it. Don't. The net just lays there. The only thing is that we pull the thread that we have in the beginning. Look, now we'll sew it and then take a close look at it. I add some more and set it to seven. Well, we don't pull it with force so that it gets stretched, but just pull it out slightly. That means the edge shouldn't be gathered. And why that you get that in the process? All right, the rule is no rules for making this sweater. In the end, our atelier isn't for knitwear, and we've come up with our own methods. We rarely have knitwear clothes, barely ever, about once a year, or once every half a year. Sometimes we need to fix clothes, cut the finished product. This requires some skill too. Remember how many times I've cut sweaters for you? And it went well. You do wear them, right? I looked at the comments briefly, realized something. Those who work with their machines at home know what they do with them. But I'm not acquainted with it. Well, that's it. See the result? We need it to get stretched a bit in the end. 
Right. We'll do the same with the sleeves, just the same way. And what kind of zigzag? Just as I said, it's three millimeters wide and seven millimeters long. I get it now. That's not the one, but this one, it's almost straight. But every stitch is diagonal, so the stitch is very narrow, but very long. So in the end, the angle of every stitch isn't that big. Not this kind of zigzag. No, no, no. That's so it would be stretchable, like this. Don't forget to make a notch on the seam and turn it to the different sides, the hem to one side and the seam itself to the other. Please tell if we pull it here, on the sleeves too? Yes, you know the fabric isn't very stretchable here, but it's fine for us because this sweater is for you. You prefer to roll the sleeves, right? And the armhole will be fine. We'll do the hem here anyway, and then it gets wider. No need to pull it too hard. But also, no need to be afraid that it will get stretched out. Don't be afraid of it. If you see that your machine makes a mess out of it, you can lift the footer from time to time and let out the fabric. We've sewn in the net on the neck and at the bottom of the sleeve. The shoulder seams will be done later. Now we'll trim it. Careful with the seam, just how it was at the bottom. Trim it by 3 millimeters. We need to cut it straight so that we can baste the edge nicely, or else there will be a thick spot somewhere. That's it. Now we'll baste it nicely. We'll baste it all at once without piping, like the bottom of the sleeve, right? Yes, just like that. I'd thought everyone would know what to do next, but everyone asked us to continue. Well, we pull it here and fold over the edge, pull it properly and attach the net to the main piece. Svita often works on such elegant things, so she's experienced when it comes to working with nets. For now, we haven't done anything to the sleeves. Just attached the net, folded it and basted. The hem will be done later, when the sleeve is ready, so that we can hide all the seams here. You get it, right? Look at the neck. We did the same thing, sewed the net to it, folded over the edge and basted it. For now, we don't do anything. We start basting the shoulder seam. Right, at first we fold about one to 1.2 centimeters here and there, like this. Now we take the thread and secure it. That will become the start of the seam. Like 
I've read many comments. Everyone says they want to see us finishing the neck. I've seen comments. Someone said that the elastic thread doesn't live long. Yes, that's true. But there's a way. If it's out of use, I can show you how to fix it without too much effort. I don't think I'll have such a moment. We've secured the thread very well, so we won't remove this thread anyway. And I think these days elastic threads are better than they used to be. I think they're higher quality. I haven't seen one get ripped. Not in my clothes, not in children's, not in Olya's. She makes dresses for herself. I haven't seen that once. I don't really use them. That's true. Here we secure the edge the same way. Svita, you tell me, that's true that they tear or isn't it? Everything can tear. I say that they don't last long just in case. If someone is worried it'll be out of use, it can be fixed easily. When my binny gets stretched out, I always easily fix it. You can do anything with this fabric, what is allowed and what isn't. Here it's secured so it won't move. No, Irina, it's not the edge yet. Okay, I get it. We can't do it smaller. The hand won't go in. Now we'll stitch it using the overlock. What if we baste only one edge? Okay, let's baste only one edge. Here we have the sleeve secured. The neck is secured too. And I want to stitch it swiftly. We'll now baste it and stitch it using the overlock the same way we did with the side seam. Okay, you convinced me to baste it. I already love this sweater. I just love it. We've cut it diagonally. The distance is bigger where I baste it, but it doesn't mean that's where the seam will be. I make the distance bigger. We won't show you everything. We'll baste this seam. Here we basted the shoulder. That's how it looks. That's the edge of the neck. It can be folded as much as you want it. We'll see it after the fitting. Now we'll stitch this seam. I've already told you about the hem of the sleeve. We've just basted the edge using the net. Haven't stitched anything. We don't need to do it fast. We help ourselves. Yes, do it slowly. Always use the seam ripper to pull the fabric. It's all good, I see. We shouldn't let this beautiful sweater have any flaws. Yeah. 
We have two seams for two sleeves. This method is great. It's an overlock. It can use four threads. It can do zigzag. What a great time we live in. Technologies are amazing. That's the progress. That's the progress. We used to have nothing, and we still sewed, and we loved what we were doing. We fix it using a seam ripper. It's folded there. So, is that it? Yes, we did it. And what about this end? As usual, we pull it and put it under the seam. Here we have a thread. We don't need a white thread here. We need to cut it shorter. We do it as usual. I think everyone knows it. We pull it out. Pull all the threads slightly. Everything's fine. We cut off the excesses. We pull it until we can't anymore. That's it. How about you cut off the threads and we take a look at the knot? Look, the seam will get folded back, so that's why the net is not until the end. It'll all get covered. We'll sew here using a needle? Right, all by hand. No one will see this seam anyway. We'll do it off camera. That's it. I already have my sweater on. Svetlana put it on me inside out. That's what we need now. Why? It's to let us understand how open we want the neck. We had it straight here. I like it straight. I know you do. We'll open it like this. It happens naturally. It's like an improvised one-piece facing. I like it. We just need to baste it and stitch it. Maybe someone wants to do it by hand. Or it won't go well? By hand is not the best way, but maybe it's fine. You need to try it out, like this. No, we won't use the machine. And from behind, it's the same. Let me show them the back. It looks good, very good. I think it's time to say goodbye. Wait for the review when it's finished. I feel so comfortable, it's so soft, so nice, just excellent. I haven't worn anything with this type of sleeve for so long, I think I'll enjoy it. The hem is very comfortable too, it fits well. I don't like it when it sticks out. We'll do the sleeve the same way. It's time to say goodbye. Leave your comments, support Svetlana and me, and wait for the review when it's finished. I think we must review it. By the time we do, many of you will finish such a sweater already. I think the videos were useful for you. Click the like button, share our videos on social media, and subscribe to our channel, and write comments. Thank you for watching. All the best from Irina Paukste, Svetlana, and the rest of our team. Svetlana Alexandrovna, and all our team.